In this lesson, we're going to take a look at solving addition and subtraction equations, the most basic of any equation. An equation becomes something on one side with an equal sign in the middle and something on the other side. What this says is the left piece is equal to the right piece. Our job when we look at this, oh, there's a variable, a number that we don't know what the value is. We know it's a number, we just don't know how much it is. So our job is to figure out or solve what is this value worth. Now, 9 out of 10 kids will be able to look at any given equation and say, I know what it is. I deduced the answer. I used a little thinking and I figured it out. What number plus 4 is 6? Hopefully you say it's 2. That's not the hard part here. What we're going to try to do is lay the foundation for algebra for the end of this year and for next year. What we're going to do is take a look at not just the processes we would do, but a new way of writing it. And it's a new way only for the fact that we haven't dealt with it much up until this point. My best analogy is this. I want you to think of the word run. We know what it looks like, but what if it was written like this? It's still the word run, but it's written in cursive. So it's the same idea we're used to, it just looks different. So what algebra is, is kind of the same idea. It's math being written in a different way. We have to get used to writing it and also reading it. So let's go to solve this. We know that the solution, the answer to this is n equals 2. So I'm going to skip some space. I'm going to come down here and say n equal 2. Now an equation can be split in half, and the dividing is the equal sign, so I'm going to split mine in half. Now all sorts of different ways have been taught throughout your growing up. Uh, you can put an S4 off to the side, etc., etc. That's not what we're looking for. And I'm not just looking for this. Here's where we're at. This side has N plus 4. We must make this end up looking like this. Now notice, this has an n plus 4, this has just an n. Okay, how do I get rid of the thing I don't want? What I don't want is the plus 4. So think about the other lesson. How do I remove a number? Hopefully you think about, how do you make an added number go away to be worth nothing? You add in its opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recopy this down here. n plus 4. But remember, I have to add something else here. Plus, hmm, okay, what should I add to make this number go bye-bye, go disappearing? Four plus its opposite. Its opposite is negative four. Now, by doing this, four plus negative four, these fours cancel out. And the only thing I'm left with is n. Now in algebra, in equations, if you do something to one side, in order for it to be equal, you must do it to the other side. So this was a 6. I added negative 4 to the left. I must also add negative 4 to the right. And notice, 6 plus negative 4 is 2. So note. This thing we found is my solution, by the way. My solution, real quick, is what the variable must be equal to for my equation to be true. In other words, does 2 plus 4 equal 6? Yeah, it's true, so this is my solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to add opposites. Let's go to the next setup. This says negative 8 plus w equals 28. Okay, I'm going to add a line for my work. I'm going to add a line for my solution. Do you know ahead of time what w is? Negative 8 plus what magic number equals 28? 20? Let's see, 20 plus negative 8 is 12. 12 is not equal to 28. So I've got to think of something else. 36? 36 plus negative 8 hopefully is 28. 
you don't have to come up with this. I'm just showing you some people will figure this out first. So I'm going to take my equation. I'm going to recopy it. Negative 8 plus W. 28. I'm going to add the same thing to both sides. What do I want to add to make everything else on this side go away except for the W? Because I need him there. Well, I need the opposite of the number that's already being added. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. If I do it to one side, I must do it to the other. Negative 8 plus, sorry, 8 plus negative 8 is 0. W comes down all by itself. 28 plus 8 is 36. Done. You say, Mr. Wong, this, that was just addition equations. What about subtraction equations? Here it is. A number minus 15 equals negative 7. I'm not even going to try to think about what W should be right now. I'm going to use my solving to help figure it out. And if you remember, my rule simply is this. I'm going to add the opposite of the number that is with the variable. But before I can even do that, here's a subtraction sign. What do we do with subtraction? We always change it into addition. That's right. Why? Because it's easier. That way it's one less thing to know about. I know how to turn subtraction into addition, so I make this a plus sign. Oh, wait a minute. Something else has to happen. What happens to the number or the term that is to the right of it? Oh, that's right. It becomes its opposite. So this is positive 15. What's the opposite of positive 15? Negative 15. So this is negative 15. So before I do any of this, step 0, 0 would come before 1. I must change all subtraction to addition. Okay, now I'm ready to get rid of the number that is beside the variable. So I rewrite this line, w plus negative 15. I've got to add something. I'm going to rewrite this side, negative 7 plus something. The some things must be the same. What should I add to get rid of a negative 15? Positive 15, it's opposite. And that marker doesn't seem to want to work anymore, and I have black. So I'm going to add 15, and I'm going to add 15 to this side. Negative 15 plus 15 is 0. It disappears and goes bye-bye. The only thing I'm left with is a W. This side, negative 7 plus 15, negative 7 plus positive 15 is 8. 8 was my missing number. This becomes my solution. The number that makes this true. Let's check. Does 8 plus negative 15 give me negative 7? Yeah. So what we're going to do is this. Make sure I have addition. Add opposites to both sides. Do you need to do this when you solve your equations? The answer is yes, you do. Why? Because I am asking. Why? Because I know this will help us do better in algebra by learning to write it and learning to read it. Okay? So please, if you do other methods like S, S15 or A15, please save those. Those are for a different time. You ready to move up a little bit here? We'll start adding in some opposites. Good luck.